Welcome to another Dixon how-to video. My name is Matt and I will be demonstrating how to download and work with the data from your VFC 320 and 325 vaccine data loggers. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that your logger is connected via the USB cord or that you have downloaded the data to a flash memory card. In our case, we are using an SD flash card. The next thing you will want to do is open up the Dixonware software. If you are using the secured version, you will need to enter your password and hit OK. To download the data from a device connected via USB cord, select the download button. In our case, we're going to hit the flash card button because we used an SD card to transfer data to the computer. So you click that. You'll have to locate your file now. Ours is on our removable drive F and in the log file and then you will see the file right there. It tells you the data was recorded on and what time the data was downloaded to the card. Hit open or double click the file name. The first thing that appears is a graph with two lines. One for channel 1 and one for channel 2. You can see that we were using the VFC 325 with two probes and we measured the temperature for our freezer and the temperature of our refrigerator. These recordings were taken from our cafeteria refrigerator which, as you can see, is probably not the best for storing frozen vaccines as the temperature varies quite a bit. On the vertical axis you will see the temperature and on the horizontal axis you will see the date and time. If you want to zoom in on a section of the graph, you can do so by clicking and dragging on that part of the graph you want to see more detail of. To zoom out, it's almost as simple. All you have to do is go up to the top and click Unzoom. This will return you to the normal uh, graph that you saw when the file originally opened. You can also view your data in a table format by clicking on the Table tab in the upper left. At the top, you will see the headings Channel 1 and Channel 2, along with the index for each reading. These correspond to the data below. You should also know that the minimum value, average value, and maximum value are available for each of the columns. If you want to save your data to the local hard drive, all you have to do is click the Save button. Click OK, and then choose where you want to save the file, in our case the desktop, and name the file something appropriate. In our case, I'm just going to leave what we have here, but you can title it anything you want. Click Save, and that's that. If you'd like to export the data file to Microsoft Excel or some other spreadsheet program, all you have to do is click the Export button, uh, give your file a name, we'll call ours Dixon Data. 9-21 and we'll save ours to the desktop. You just have to go to Microsoft Excel, go to File Open, uh, and you will notice we have two here. We have the VFC 325 and the Dixon Data, the one we just saved. So double click that. Get a couple options. Um, typically the standard should work. Uh, click Next, then Next and finish and you will notice that our very similar to the table the data appeared in Excel you can graph this and do what you want with it um, it has all the data points that the unit recorded um, and you can trim that down to the ones you want or the ones you need all by just deleting the columns and rows we're back in Dixonware and if you want to print your document um, you can do so by clicking the print button. If you're on the graph uh, and you hit the print button, the graph will print. You can also zoom in and that part of the graph will print if you hit print at that time. Um, so normal dialog comes up, you select your settings and then hit OK. We're not going to print ours right now, but just want to give you an idea of what that process is. Uh, you can also do the same in the table. You click print and you choose your print settings here also. We're not going to do this either, but I just wanted to give you that demonstration so you know where to look and what should pop up. Clicking the New button will clear the data from the screen so that you can open another file or download data from a different logger. It will not clear the data from your unit, so don't worry about that. So you click New, and it should ask you if you want to save the data. Um, clicking OK will... Um, close it without saving, clicking cancel will give you the opportunity to save. So I'm just going to click OK and I don't want to save it. Then you can just click open or download um, to get um, the information from your new data source. To open a log file saved on your computer, all you have to do is go to file, open, 
locate the file that you want to open. We'll select this one, double click it, or hit the open button. And now you can do the same thing you did uh, earlier on by exporting, saving, printing, and all the other features available in Dixonware. If at any time you need help, you can simply just click the help button for additional assistance with the Dixonware. Most of these are the topics I covered here in the in this video, but there are other ones you can do by searching um, or by hitting the index and contents button. Clicking on the exit button will close Dixonware. A dialog will appear asking, do you want to discard this data without saving it to a file? Choose no if you'd like to save the information, and yes to close without saving. I'm just going to click yes. For more information, visit www.dixondata.com. Once again, my name is Matt, and this was how to download data from your VFC 320 and 325.